Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. In this video, you're going to learn how to easily transform your existing or even edited video into a new product ready for resale using nothing but a little imagination and some free tools. In this video, we're going to create a PDF containing the menu to the videos you've sold to your customers where most of the time you would send a link to a download page and there your customers would then download the individual zip files to be unzipped individually on their computer and then viewed. Well this method is going to look a little more professional, it's going to add value and make your customers viewing of your videos much more organized. Now this might also, as a result of that, increase your repeat business from these now happy campers. Plus here in a second I'll show you an added benefit. But first let's look at the files we're going to be working with. Now, I went ahead and pulled it in another video series. This one because it has uh, multiple videos whereas this one only had one thus negating the need for a menu if you only have one video. So let's go ahead and open this up. You see here we've got six videos and a marketing pack. Now inside of these videos we've got four files. The only one that we're really going to be interested in in so far as the creating the link is the HTML. Whether yours looks like this or it has an E for Internet Explorer or an O for Opera, S for Safari, whatever, it doesn't really matter what it looks like just so long as you know that it's the .htm or .html file that you're interested in. This is the actual video itself. In this case, it's an SWF or Shockwave Flash. So it could be an MP4 flash which might have five or six different uh, files. Again, you're only interested in the HTM or HTML file. It might be a, an FLV where there might be eight or nine files in there. Again, doesn't really matter. You're only interested in the .htm or .html file. So that being said, I'll come on back here. And the folder titles does not matter. You can change those if you want. It'd be merely cosmetic because we're not going to be going your, your, your customers aren't going to be paying attention to these anymore. They're going to be paying attention to that beautiful PDF you're about to make them. Speaking of which, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now here is the final result, the end product, and I'll show you here in a second how we can create this. But you got your image, your little header image up here, little eye candy. Bring this on down here, a little bit of verbiage here to thank your customers for their purchase. And also a little added info here to remind them that these videos are for their use only. They can't sell them, yada, yada, yada. Put whatever you know verbiage in here you want or leave it all out. It's totally up to you. Again, this is my video and this is what I'm doing. So, you know, you can even copy this word for word if you'd like. Again, totally up to you. Then a little bit of a little bit more verbiage here to direct your visitors or your customers on down here to the actual menu. And again, this is just a template. You can use this. You can, you know, uh, make yours look however you want. Just of this is a PDF menu so that all the videos can be accessed from one location right here. Now then, for example, right here, they can click on this link and be directed to the video itself. It will open up that video in the browser of their choice and start playing. And then down here, the rest of this is pretty, you know, easily understood. Here we've got the citation, uh, basically the closing signature, whatever you want to call it. Got a text link to my main website and have a text link to the email. So if your customer has a question or they're having a problem getting this particular video to play, whatever, then all they have to do is click here to email you. And I'll show you how to do this and this here in just a second. Now if there's room at the base of your uh, PDF, then go ahead and throw in a footer image. There was not in my example, so I did not include a footer image. Again, just add a eye candy. It's not mandatory. I just think it makes it look prettier. And another thing that is not included here, but as I had mentioned to you earlier, that added benefit, throw in here some affiliate links, some additional promotions for related products. That's ideal. But if you go to your template folder that I told you about in the prior video, and you pull out your 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 templates on promoting your own products or promoting affiliate products, then just throw those in here. Ideally, if they are related to this particular niche or topic, that much better because your customers will see that and be more apt to click on those and even more so apt to break out their wallet and pay you. So again, that's just an added benefit. This PDF here, it's all enclosed and, and it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead and learn how to create this bad boy real quick. Now, I'm going to be using the get this out of the way. I'm going to be using the uh, OpenOffice Writer software, the Microsoft Word clone. And if you've installed it similar to the way I did, then over here in the lower right hand corner of your browser will be the, in your start menu, will be a little icon, in my case it's blue, for the OpenOffice icon. 
we just right click on that then I'm going to be going to the text document here which is the writer program trust me on this then left click on that and it's going to open up our writer software now then we're going to go to insert because we want to put that image in there the header image come on down here not here but on down here to picture from file navigate to the folder that has the image we want to put in there and I'm looking for header 2 because header 1 needed a little bit of tweaking which I already did and then named it header 2 and double click on that or single click and then click on open you get the idea then down here below the header image we're going to type in our verbiage bam yeah I am a fast typer aren't I and then, and then after I copy and paste this oops from my text document you can do some formatting here however you like center that you can increase the font style the font size you can even change the font style here because it does not matter what you use here because this is going to be a PDF so whenever you send a PDF just like you send an image it doesn't matter what fonts your customer has because if it's a word document or a text document then the font style you use here your customers have to have the exact same font style or it will revert to a default font style that they have on their system that's not the case when you're sending a PDF or an image though so here you can go to town and if you're like me and you've got a heck of a collection of fonts then you can just use whatever the heck you want because it will show up exactly as you put it here on your customers computer that being said I'm gonna leave this alone at Times New Roman so I'm chicken chickening out so now and on down to the links here uh, come on down here and again you can make this font style you know bold whatever formatting you choose but for the sake of the speed and time allotment on this video I'm gonna leave all this stuff alone and highlight what you want to make into a link come on up here click on the globe looking thing with a the link there that's the hyperlink tool and then the only thing you want to really kind of think about here is these guys over here uh, we want to keep this in the document so we want to click on this then we want to navigate to the HTML file of that first video because that's what we're working with HTML then this you can leave alone for me I have just a habit I have all of my links uh, open up whenever somebody clicks on them I have them all open up into a different window different tab basically leaving the original intact and then the text here you can leave this alone because you can see it's already in place if it wasn't then whatever you put here is what's going to show up here and this is now a clickable link and you can uh, add formatting to this by bolding it you know whatever change colors whatever you want and let's do that one more time just so you got it down pat pretty simple go here make sure you got the right option here chosen navigate to the correct folder and file again we're only messing with the HTML file or HTM have them remain have the original remain intact click on apply click on close and you're good to go now then on down here again don't forget to finish out your work here down here we want them to be able to click on this and go to their website go to your website rather same place come on up here to the hyperlink tool this time we want them to go through the internet click on that make sure that radio buttons checked put the URL here you want them to go to the www is not necessary in most cases but you can put it in there if you so desire Again, blank and leave the text here as is or you can change this and you will be able to see the change take effect here boom okay so in either case whatever text is in that box is what's going to show up on the actual document so let's go ahead now and do the email same thing same tool only this time we want to click on this option and under receiver make sure that radio buttons checked under receiver remember that's you so put in your email address here when somebody clicks that link they're gonna be sending you an email so put in your email and under the subject line here you can either leave it blank or I would put something in here giving you some kind of an idea as to where this email might be coming from because your customer and you may have already experienced this in the past your customer might be asking you a question about why isn't video 4 playing well that's all fine and dandy if you only have one video 4 on the internet if you like me might have say 20 or 30 different video series out there each of which has a video 4 
E have no idea which one they're talking about. So narrow the field down. This would simply make your reply to their question a little more intelligent and save some time. So if you put in here, uh, say, again, this is your customer sending this to you. I have a question about the video marketing videos. Now you know which of those 20 or 30 video series they're referring to when they talk about the video for not playing. So you, know, you can adjust your comments to them uh, accordingly. And again, come on down here, hit the blank, and this is just a personal for me. That's you know, you don't have to do this, but that's how I roll. So click here to email John D and click on apply. Click on close, bada bing, bada boom, there you have it. Now that we've got all of our links intact, we've got our text formatted the way we want, got our images on there, we also have our back end sales in place, you know, from the template folder we've already made, correct? Right? Yes, okay. And now then you can create a PDF from this by going up here and clicking on this. No. You can, but it would be totally unsecure and people could simply copy and paste, yeah, which may not be a bad thing, but eh, not for me. Come on up here instead to file. Click on export as PDF. Leave all this default stuff alone. Your main concern is over here on the far right, click on security. Leave the top one alone. Just this second one here, restrict permissions. Click on that tab. Put in a password that you're going to remember. And then click on OK. It will ungrade those options. Printing, yeah, I'd let them print it out. That way they can read this on their throne or whatever. And then under changes, no, not permitted. And you can see here, you don't want any of these done. Unless, of course, you want them done, then just check whichever one you want. But in my case, no. And this last one down here, I do want this one checked for the visually impaired customers. This way they have the option, if they've got the built-in tool to their computer that will read these documents to them, this would, in fact, work then. Otherwise, if this was not checked, then their built-in tool that reads these documents to the visually impaired would not work. So check that box, pass the love on, that'll help them out. Click on export and navigate to the location where you want this to be saved. And give it a name, an actionable name, something like watch videos here. Otherwise, they're going to see that um, you know menu or something that does not give them the impression to, to act upon that, that, uh, that object. Well, here, let me just show you. So if this just said menu, then nah, maybe they just don't know what the heck that means. Now this says watch menus here. Well, that's an action. That tells them to act upon this. So they're going to click on this, if nothing else, out of curiosity, just to see what the heck this is. Oh, okay, cool. That's my menu. That's where my videos are. Then they see this here, another actionable uh, object. Click here to watch video one. Click here. Opens up in the browser. Bada bing, bada boom. There you have it. And that is how you can make your PDF menu. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something.